Hi, I'm Dr. David Olson, and I wanted to show you my collection of models from Dynamic Disc Designs. The first one I got was this model right here, the lumbar spine, with a very lifelike amount of movement. A disc here that shows the proper separation between the vertebrae, gives a nice view of the spinal joints and ligaments. And I've had this model for many, many years and use it pretty much daily in my practice. Being so impressed with that model, I went and bought this one. And this model makes that little clicking sound. It was a great way to show patients how an articular release occurs and how the gap in the facet joints occurs. Then after that, I thought we should get one like this, which shows a degenerated disc and degenerated facet joints and narrowing of the IVF. Very useful to show people what happens as the spine normally ages, but also shows how we kind of stiffen up here as we get older. And then from that one, about these cervical spine vertebrae, and again, able to show patients how the spine moves, where the framing is for the uh, spinal nerves to exit, the size of the discs, and I just put these models in the patient's hands and let them have a try at moving it around and showing them where the joints are and that type of thing. Then I bought this one. This model I thought was really neat because it allowed me to show movement between the vertebrae, how some areas you have too much hypermobility and other areas have too little mobility. This one has become very handy in my daily practice. And then finally, I got this one here that shows uh, the bulging of the disc, it really kind of shows how it can bulge out, has a good view of the facet joints and how the changes can occur in the size of the frame and with movement and how the disc bulges out. So overall, I've got uh, quite a collection of models and I use them daily and highly recommend them. Thank you, Dr. Fryer.